Hey, this is White W Store again. <clears throat> My name is Craig, and I'm going to introduce you to our Eric Johnson uh, Strat. As you can see, uh, what we have here, um, we have not only the Strat, which is new, we have the case and all the case candy that came with it. Um, the strap, all the. It actually has the. I believe it's called an ashtray cover too. If you want to put that on there. I don't know if you anyway so we'll put that back it's not something that I I play on play with so it has the um, of course the trim bar the keys for the case um, let me see here I don't know where I put the power cord on this thing but okay so here's a diagram for the Eric Johnson Stratocaster um, it shows you the switch the five way switch protect, uh, positions um, trying to think this is the artist series uh, instrument um, as you can see look I have all the hang tags the um, all the I, I think these are the check this out yeah there's the uh, Allen wrench key for, I believe it's to set up the saddles. Lacquer finishes, uh, precautions and care. Here's the hang, the original hang tag. Uh, this was bought from a guy that it was, it's new old stock. He's had it. I, you know, I guess I could took photos with all this stuff. So now that I got it all thrown into the case and you can see it, um, I'm just going to set this for now. I'm going to set it here and then put it all back in this plastic bag with a ashtray cover because uh, this is a blonde, the blonde um, Eric Johnson Strat. Um, let me show you the numbers, maybe real quick. I'm sorry, I got, I keep forgetting to flip this over. Okay, the numbers on this is are, um, flip it back. EJ zero two nine five two. You can see the um, the. Um, sorry about that. My mind is not working evidently as well as I wanted it to, to to remember what that was neck plate. I couldn't, I don't know why I couldn't think of neck plate. Either way, so um, as you can see that it doesn't have the trim cover but it has the um, the five trim springs across the back. It doesn't come with a trim cover. It actually, uh, the Artist Series was designed, if you notice, there's no holes around the uh, the back side of it for a reason because he designed it that way as well. I think it's a, a 57 reissue pit uh, pit guard so the screws this is not a regular pit guard and it's a single ply it's all been designed the way that he wanted uh, the vintage looking neck um, so you can see and of course the uh, classic tuners so let me I'm trying to trying to think of how I want to handle I want to show you the case the blonde case that comes with it so you can see the blonde case. If you're in the United States, we are going to ship this to you. It's hard to ship when you're outside the United States. So here we go. It's hard to ship this to you when you're outside the United States because it costs so much to ship this, which is why most people do not do it. Okay, so let me get my halogen light ready um, so we can go over this, this strat because you're gonna really like it. Uh, again, this is new old stock and I have to admit, I've liked it. There's probably a lot of pick, pick marks on this because I've been messing around with it. But don't let that concern you because the plastic is still on it. So it's just a pick marks over the plastic, um, over the plastic pit guard uh, cover. I I can't remember. I think this is a a V neck. I think I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that because I can't remember. I cannot remember right now. Um, let's go over the body. The body. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've been messing around. See these? You see that I've got little scratch marks on the. It's just the plastic here. I pull this plastic down so you can see. See. So the plastic is still on it. And it's not. It's not grooved inside the the um, pit guard. This is the blonde. Um, the blonde um, version of the artist series. You can see that the body is in really excellent condition. Um, I do see, I hope that I didn't do that right here. I do see a little bit of a mark right there, if you can see it. Um, so, 
I, I guess I should take that rag and really wipe this thing down because I don't want you to be confused about the condition of the, the guitar because I have my smudge marks all over it and I have been getting quite a few on it I have to admit so maybe if I wipe this down a little better you'll be able to, to see the great condition that this thing is in it's just a wonderful guitar so then we're gonna the other part we're gonna do is we're gonna play it which is always the funnest part for me so um, and every other guitarist I know so so here's the body so you can see it um, I, I just I do these videos so you can have a really dimensional view of everything and I'm gonna list it I'm really gonna list this as a used guitar um, because I've been playing I've been well I've hadn't haven't had it that long but I have been playing it um, it's not a brand new guitar it's like new it's slightly used I do see a small indentation here I don't know if you can see it right there and then one right there on the horn where it came from there's really no telling I might have been responsible for it um, so I don't know what else I can show you about this guitar it's just a really beautiful guitar um, I think we've gone over everything that I've known to go over with it for you and uh, so let's just go ahead and plug it in let me look at the bottom Oop. let me go ahead and look at the bottom of it oh I guess I can show you the frets and the neck of the guitar so that you can see that yeah it's in it's in excellent shape it's in really really good condition um, this is uh, also one of the necks that is designed to be I don't know if you see the down at the bottom that's where it's designed the truss rod is designed to be adjusted from okay so let me flip this back over you got about seven minutes of wandering around this guitar um, we're going to I'm gonna play this guitar for you just mess around I'm gonna put this strap on it try to pull my shirt over you know I'm I don't know about you but sometimes I'm responsible over real responsible um, for putting some of these little we call it buckle rash but if you wear button button down shirts a lot the button down shirt buttons will actually scratch on the back usually what I'll do is I'll I'll have a washcloth and wear it over my belt buckle or something like that so that I don't mess up the back end of the guitar or pull my my shirt over let me just make sure that I've got this tuned up and then we're gonna go play it okay so See if I can get some cool little sound effects to go in. I'm gonna flip this down. Okay, let's see. We're gonna try to go with that. See how that plays, and then we'll come back and mess around with it a little bit. So now let's just, we'll just pull around, flip over, flip over to the chorus and, and play that and do some lead work over top of it with this. This would be nice. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we can got. We got with this thing. 
that's that. Let's see. We can do something. We'll do something else. I like some of these effects. Uh -oh. Let's try this.